And the U.S. Embassy is warning spring break travelers to exercise increased caution, especially after dark. In the downtown areas of popular spring break spots like Cancun, Playa del Carmen and Tulum. They say to avoid buying alcohol or pharmaceuticals while there as well, as they are not regulated and could be contaminated. And there's also been travel warnings from the U.S. State Department to two of the most popular Caribbean beach destinations, Jamaica and the Bahamas. So let's ask the expert about this. Joining me now is Susan Green of Susan's Travel Services. All right, this has been in the news so much lately, and it's very alarming. You know, a lot of people are going to spring break to those areas, Mexico and the Caribbean. Yep. What do they need to know? Well, we always say this to our to our travelers is you got to go where you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. So if you don't feel comfortable going and this is your one week vacation, right. it's your money and your time. So make sure you're comfortable no matter what. And then when you go there, you really do have to use some of your common sense. And our, you know, our viewers, your viewers and my clients, they're really smart. Yeah. And you have to, you have to trust that instinct. One of the things that we find out that we kind of go through a lot on what's going on with these, with these destinations mm -hmm. is it is gang violence and it is violence among the locals. They are not going after the, the citizens tourists. that are coming. Okay. That doesn't mean that, you know, there aren't areas to avoid, but there are things that you can do mm -hmm. to be smart about going to these locations. So one of the first things we tell people is this. Make sure that wherever you're going, that you're going to a safe hotel. Yes. So that you've booked a safe hotel. Most of these hotels are guarded and gated, which means right. nobody can get into them unless they are a person that is staying there. Mm -hmm. Then stay at that hotel, stay at the beach at that hotel, and then if you're gonna go do an activity somewhere off the hotel, make sure you book it through the hotel. Okay. Or book it through a company that is legitimate. Right. One of the big things that people do is they hear from a friend and they say, hey, my friend Tom told me that if I go down the street <laughs> and you turn right and you go to this little shack, oh. he's gonna save you 20 bucks. Yeah. And that's where you can start getting into problems. Because right. you're off the beaten path. You're off the beaten path. They're like, hey, you can get the best tequila down over this road. Yeah. And that's where we're like, hey, use your common sense. You right. wouldn't do that here in yeah. Phoenix. Yeah. I wouldn't go to an area that I didn't feel safe in mm -hmm. to go save $10 mm -hmm. on buying my groceries. Don't do it while you're in a country that doesn't speak English, where you are not the main person there. Mm -hmm. And so you got to really trust your instinct. And that's a big issue. And I think we all have that when we go on vacation. Okay, so speaking of going on vacation, a lot of people are traveling abroad. Maybe it's to Europe, wherever. Yeah. There are things that people need to be mindful of. Uh, because yeah. again, like when in Rome, right? Yeah. So what should we do? Give us some yeah, tips. Yeah, you got it. You got it. So I, I wrote down a couple things. So when I travel, the first thing that I always do is, first of all, I always copy, uh, copy, uh, take a copy of my passport and of my itinerary. Mm -hmm. I make sure somebody at home has it. Ooh. And then I also put it in my bag. Ooh. So in case my bag gets lost, the person that finds it can tell me, hey, they know where it is. And if my passport gets lost, I have a copy of my passport. It's much easier to go into the U.S. Embassy there and get a copy than going, I don't know what my number yeah. is. And Excellent tip. Yeah. Okay. So um, another thing is I really love the bag strap, the bags that have the strap that go across. And right. the reason is, is it's really difficult for people to take anything off you. Yeah. I'm, I'm known for carrying a big bag that I leave open. My mom says everyone's going to steal from me when I'm at the grocery store. Right. And so you have this bag that comes across. You can stick like a water bottle. You're, and it's right in front. It's right in front of yeah. you and it's with you and it's not obvious. And that's really the key is you don't want to be obvious when you're in location. Mm -hmm. Being aware of your surroundings. So that goes back to what I was saying earlier is, hey, when you're in aware of the surroundings, are you on a street that doesn't have lights? Are you in a place? Are you in the public area keeping your voice? You know, I have a trouble with my voice being loud, making sure that you're respectful of people yeah. that you're around and stuff like that. That's so true. Respectful of the culture that you're in. You're, you're not in America. Mm -hmm. If you're in Spain, you're in a Spanish country. Make sure that you're respecting that. Excellent, excellent. 